It was such a drag. Why did you have to change school in our final year? Because I was flunking my classes. My parents were about to kick my ass out. Besides, you know how Hillview is. Private school with no privacy. Anyway, at least we have the summer to go back to how it used to be. Just us, Lydia, Danny. Well, gee, you don't have to look that excited. I think this was Rita's journal. No way! Is that the dead bitch's Bible? Well, she was never deemed dead officially. She just went missing. Yeah, for like an entire year. Look here. It hasn't been the same with Mystery Man lately. I can't explain why, but I have this feeling. I feel awful for sneaking off with someone new this past week, but he brings me excitement that Mystery Guy no longer does. She's talking about some guy she was meeting up with in secret. What's up, fellow Hillview graduates? Oh, I didn't see you there, Elaine. What you reading? You know it's summer, right, Max? Oh, is that Danny's porno magazine? Guys, stop, okay? This was Rita's journal. There's some pretty messed up stuff in here. The dead chick? Stop! Cole, it's not funny! Fine, I'll give it back. Only if you come to Robbie's welcoming bonfire tonight. We need to get changed first, so get out. So you're saying I can't stay for the show? Bye now. Was Apotha always this boring? I used to be so amped for the summer and now it's just different. Yeah, now that we're all grown up, we just don't find this shit fun anymore. I just feel weird being in Rita's old bunk. It's freaking me out. Are you still wigging out over that silly journal? No, I just find it strange to hang out here again this summer after someone literally disappeared in these woods. Hey, why are you guys being such buzzkills? Have you forgotten how to have a good time over the school year? Jeez, Lydia, don't you know what personal space is? Take a chill pill. Jeez. Anyway, have you guys seen Cole? He's been gone for like 15 minutes. Oh my god, Cole! Somebody go call the cops! Ah, pranked ya! <sighs> Cole, you idiot! <laughs> Seriously, Cole, that wasn't funny. Chill, everyone thought it was hilarious. Fuck off. We thought you were seriously hurt. Don't do that when someone already went missing here. Calm down, Maxipad. What are you, on your period or something? Come on, ladies. No need to act like freakazoids. Look, everyone, let's just cool it, okay? I don't agree with cold little stunt either, but it's no reason to get hostile. And you. No more funny business this summer, okay? Got it? All right, everyone, let's just... Let's just go back to the campfire and try to enjoy the rest of the night. The journal. Hey, hey. Don't tell Robbie, but I got a key to cabin 206. Cabin 206, you yeah. mean? I'll see you there after the bonfire.
What happened? Well, looks like we got a murder in our own very little town of Zapotha. I miss the days when groups like Metallica weren't pushing kids to worship the devil. That's probably what happened here. Some devil worshippers. Murder? Who? Who was murdered? Oh, poor little Lydia. It's going to be all right. Oh. <laughs> Lydia found Cole late last night. She'd been questioned for like hours. And Cole uh, was pretty messed up, huh? Are we okay? Cole? What happened to him? Well, uh, so far we found uh, 10 stab wounds to the neck. What kind of sick, twisted person would do this? I don't know yet. But when I do, we're gonna give this creep a good old-fashioned can of whoop-ass. Lydia? I'm sure they'll find whoever did this. Son of a bitch, rots in hell. I'm sure he will. He deserves it. But hey, at least we have the law on our side. All right, everyone, let's just calm down, okay? The police are doing their search of the forest. I know it's not ideal, but the best thing we can do right now is just stay put and try to distract ourselves from this whole situation. Well, I don't want to stay here anymore. Why don't we just take the supply car and get the hell out of here? At least it's safer in town. Right behind you. I would drive us all back, but for some reason the car is not starting right now. It's having some battery issues. I'm going to work on it right away, though. Are you kidding me? Look, it's not that bad. It should be a few hours wait at most, you know. Like I said, we stay calm, we do not panic. The sheriff and his backup are on this. Okay, well, I'm not waiting, okay? I'm gonna go to Robbie's room and I'm gonna call my parents for a ride back. I don't care if it takes two hours. The phone's down too. Fuck, well what are we gonna do now? Well maybe we can get a ride back into town with the cops. The sheriff is useless. You saw him out there. Besides, he just left. Then we're just gonna have to figure it out ourselves. Okay, I'll look in Cole's cabin and see if I can find something. Well, the journal's gone. I looked everywhere in Cole's things. Can you shut up about that stupid journal already? Lydia, what if the person who hurt Cole is the same person who Rita was scared of last summer? You cannot actually believe that there's some crazy killer who killed Rita, then came back this year to continue his hunt on campers here. And where have you been all this time? No one's seen you all morning. Cole is dead. I've slept in. Jeez. I've been trying to wrap my head around it. I needed some time alone. Bullshit. The cops left hours ago, and you just so happened to what? Sleep in? Guys, are we seriously starting a fight when our friend is dead? Well, it's difficult to just sit around when Danny's been MIA all day. We still have no car to get the hell out of here. No one's been caught so far. And there's no leads on who could have done this to Cole. Well, I may or may not know anything about Rita and that stupid journal. What? What are you talking about, Lydia? Lydia? Okay, okay. I don't even think it's related, but... Rita was always meeting up with some mystery guy last summer. I promised not to say anything as her cabin mate because we knew it was against the rules, but I gathered that she was scared of him at one point because I overheard them fighting. I sneaked out the night before she ran off and followed her to cabin 206. I heard her scream for whoever it was to stop and she ran out of the cabin into the woods. I'm pretty sure they followed her. Uh, then I never saw her again. 
why why the hell would you keep this from us and the police i don't know i was scared okay i didn't want him to like murder me or something for an entire year everyone thought she just ran away and you're saying you saw some crazy person follow her into the woods did you like see what the person looked like and just a hoodie it was in the middle of the night, so it was too dark to see. Okay, guys, we need to stick together until Robbie can get the supply car running. Okay, let's just go back to the cabin like he instructed and stay put. What are you doing? I'm checking for more clues on who this guy could be. This was Rita's room after all. I'm such a spaz. Rita loved her hiding spots. You should check the floorboards. What's that? It's just a bunch of lame love letters. Gross. God, she was not a poet. She rhymed, I love driving in your car with you're so hot with your scar. Wait, she wrote about someone with a scar? Yeah, like several times. Did it hurt when you burnt your arm after accidentally setting a fire in your backyard? Look, last time I checked, we're not the cops. As soon as we have a working phone line, I'm out of here. Why are we wasting our time with this nonsense? Well, we still have no service, so you're stuck here with all the nonsense until then. Ah, uh ah, -uh. no leaving unless it's an emergency. And you bring a buddy. This is so stupid. I'm not doing the buddy system just to take a leak. Sleeping, what's the big deal anyway? It's like right across the cabin. Hello? Is anyone in here? Heart attack, what are you doing in here? Elaine, <laughs> Elaine, Lydia's gone. What time is it? It's 4 a.m. Wait, what? Lydia's gone? Yeah, we need to find her. She's fine. She just went out of the bathroom earlier. Alone? <gasps> How could you do this? How could you let her come here alone? How is this my fault? Danny, you knew she was here. Okay, and? Lydia was murdered. That's what. Right after she confessed what she saw the night, Rita went missing. This whole time, you've been acting weird. You're unfazed that your best friend was murdered yesterday. You wanted us to stop looking for clues, and now this? Oh God, please. You can't actually believe I did this. Lydia was my friend, for God's sake. Okay, Maxine, Danny did not mean to put Lydia in danger. Why are you taking his side? I'm not, I just think we should prioritize calling the police right now rather than accusing each other. You want an accusation? I'll give you one. I know you weren't in the cab the night Rita went missing. Where were you? 
Where were you? Maxine, listen. No. I don't trust either of you right now. Maxine! 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 Rehab. What? I was in rehab. I was never studying. I, I don't understand. The night that Rita disappeared, I snuck off to get a bump from Cole. A bump? You stuck with Cole? God, no. He was my dealer. But I'm clean now. I just, why didn't you tell me I'm your best friend? I could have helped. I didn't want to be a burden. And besides, what was that? Ah! Elaine! Maxine, run! Ah! No! Okay, let's go. There should be a first aid kit in the commons room. I'm gonna go check if the phone works in Robbie's room, okay? Don't open the door for anyone. Just be careful. My God, what happened here? I was stabbed! My friend just went out there trying to call for help. We need to find her. I was called by a, a Danny earlier, but uh, this looks bad. We need to get you to a hospital faster than a Bronco on a Tuesday morning. No, 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 I'm fine. We need to find Maxine. There's a killer running around here. I got a first aid kit in my car. Let's get you patched up first and then I'll go find your friend later. Not in these parts, Hoss. Look, you need to come get me right now. Maxine? Why are you talking about, sweetie? Mom, there's no time. We need to drive down to Sepulveda. Someone's trying to hurt us. I... I don't understand. What's Mom, wrong? just get here quick, please. Don't you know it's rude to go to other people's lines? Robbie, your head. Are you alright? Oh, I fell while Danny and I were running from the killer. Did you always have that scar? You got someone to answer the phone, finally. Where's Danny? I'll take you to him. Down here. I killed him hours ago. When I found him trying to call the cops with those stupid little love letters in his hands. 
And now, you're gonna phone the little party of yours you called before. Tell them everything is fine. And it was all just a little prank. No one's hurt, nothing's wrong. Or I'm killing every last one of you. Why are you doing this? You forced me to. It would have been a lot more easier if you just stopped letting Nancy Drew and let me handle the situation. You know you were one of the few people I ever truly respected. You killed Lydia and Rita and all my friends. They all had it coming. Rita was a lying whore, sneaking up with Danny behind my back. Like if I never found out. Lydia, she was a goddamn pest, man, sneaking his nose and everything and talking shit. And Cole? <laughs> like Cole, he was just an asshole. Nobody liked him. Is that supposed to make me feel sorry for you? Because Rita was cheating on you? You're pathetic. <laughs> Fuck Zapotha. California next summer? Yeah.